YouTube family, what is good? Your friendly neighborhood tech bay back with another Instagram tips video for you. And this one is about how to create better content. Now I know we don't purposely try to have boring photos on our Instagrams, but sometimes even for me, it's tough to come up with an engaging concept for the story that you want to tell, for things you want to show. So in this video, I'm giving you three simple things you can use, three tips to take your photos from looking boring to well, not boring. Um, yeah. Welcome back to Devin on Tech, where I give you how to's and creative talk. Now, in this video, I'm giving you the secret sauce to make sure that your content is not a snooze fest on Instagram. But first, if it's your first time on this channel, you're new to this channel, it's all good because I'm fairly new to YouTube. And I first got my start on the gram, my friend. And there, I'm known as the fashion guy who makes anime inspired videos. And of course, from this dope content I create, I get tons and tons of questions from y'all. So I dedicated this portion of my channel, this series, to teaching y'all how to create better content and be more successful on social media. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, please. And you've already subbed to my channel press that bell icon you get a notification every time I drop a video Now, the first tip on this list and a surefire way to make sure your photos are never boring is to make sure they're not photos yes you want to create videos ladies and gents now if you've been on this channel for a while then you know for a fact that I've already put y'all on game about what Instagram favors a favorite video over photos so look at your explore page right now what do you see more of? So, if you want to be competitive in your space, you want to get your content out there, you want to be more discoverable, you need to learn how to make video. I'm gonna clap when I say it because you know I mean it, okay? Now, I've already made a video, a simple video, on how to create videos with three simple apps, okay? The top three apps that I use, that I like, that I found. I've already made a video on it. I think it's like two minutes long. I'm gonna have a little car slide out right here. Go ahead and tap it. You'll thank me later. Now, you tell me which one looks better to you. Is it the basic photo that everybody takes? with the plain wing in the window or something more interesting like this. Which one are you more likely to double tap, interact with? We already know what the answer is. You need to learn how to create videos, my friend. Now, I already know after this video, I'm gonna get some type of comment or DM or email on how this video was made, so I'm gonna tell you right now. This particular video is what I like to call reverse cinemagraph, okay? We took separate footage and a photo and just put footage into a photo. It's really simple to do. If you wanna know how to make a reverse cinemagraph, tap the little card coming out right here. And in the description, I'm gonna put a video on how to find graphics from online. So say you don't have the footage of a cloud to film, you can just grab it from Google or grab it from YouTube literally and just put it inside of here. And it's really simple to do. So it's all gonna be in the description. I just wanna make sure y'all know this now before you ask me later, okay? Now the second tip on this list is gonna help you step your selfie game up. Now me personally, I'm not much of a selfie dude at all however i do lurk on some of y'all accounts i look through the comments i look through the dms i check y'all accounts y'all some good looking people so if you're more of a selfie person dude or girl i'm all for it do your thing but let's not have the same basic selfie all the time now one great way to make sure your selfie isn't boring or basic is to add context tell a story now for instance, if you go to my girl Steph's page, Soothing Sister on Instagram, if you know her, she's on YouTube and Instagram as well, she takes some of the most bomb selfies in the whole wide world, okay? Look at this, it looks great. However, look at the engagement on this post. So, regular selfie at Disneyland, little caption, and that's it, okay? 4,000 likes, that's great. But then let's go to the next one she posted. Now, note that this one was posted five hours ago, okay? The more recent one's only been up for four hours. Look at the engagement on that thing. Why is that? Is that a better picture? No, it's a better story. So look at it. Four stages of Disneyland corn dog. Boom. Next one. Mmm. Next one. Almost done. Next one. Bam. Look at that. Now that's funny. That's quirky. It's it's relatable. It's human. You get what I'm saying? So you add layers to this thing. You add context. You tell a story. You're going to get better engagement from your audience. Look at that. I even laughed on that thing. You feel me? So the solution for boring selfies is to tell a story and add some context. Now the final tip on this list, number three, is from my people who have a hard time posing or think they're good at posing but actually are not. I used to think I was good, but when I saw myself in photos, I was like, yo fam, you look super awkward. So my solution was to move around. You don't want to pose, instead you want to live in your photos, okay? Make sure you're doing natural movements. Now, if you remember a video I put up not too long ago about how to always look good in photos, and remember the tip I gave you about how to have a natural looking smile in a photo? 
and I told you kind of make yourself laugh a little bit, like activate the chuckle. The whole principle behind that video, and by the way, if you haven't seen it, I have a little card slide over here, tap it, it's another great tips video on how to like control yourself better on camera. But anyway, the whole principle behind that video was to make sure you're having a natural movement going on so it just looks real. You can apply that across the board. Remember a couple videos ago when I was shooting my wife and I got a nice shot of her kind of walking? So that produces a more natural looking picture than if she would have to try to pose like she's walking. You don't want it to look fake, you want it to look real. So there's an example for you and that concludes this list. If these tips were at all helpful for you, go ahead and give your guy a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I would love to see you guys apply these. Please comment with your Instagram below so I can check out your profiles, see what kind of interesting content you're making. If I've ever helped you out in a video, or maybe I haven't looked at your stuff like I probably should, go ahead and put it down. I wanna lurk your pages. I wanna check out what you've been doing. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I mean, come on, make that happen. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you for your time as always, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.